everybody, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts, and you're at a new angle, but I'm working on getting holes in my desk now that I got my marker, new marker system in. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to share with you a quick little lesson that will lead into a couple other lessons on shading and blending here in the next 24 to 48 hours. <clears throat> I've been holding on to a new series of stamps that was limited, and they sold out very quickly when they finally did hit. I did get mine about uh, two weeks ago. Um, a week and a half, two weeks ago. Anyway, I have been teasing people on my page that I, I got lucky, uh, and we have a follower on the page that is now selling stamps and products, um, because she wanted to be able to bring to everybody on the page and everybody else, um, a little bit of help, uh, and, and save some money, because there's a lot of people out there really out to make money. She, she is making a little money, but she, she does want to help everybody. Uh, at the end of this video, I will t uh, share um, uh, some coupon codes. Um, but here is the new Greeting Farm Stamp Limited Edition set. This is Alice Bean. This is the Alice in Wonderland set. This is Chester's Chester's Bean. She's super cute. This is Hatter Bean. Super cute. And Queen Bean. Now, I wanted to teach something, and I know I've gone over it a couple times, but I'm going to teach exactly how you can um, take your stamps out because they need to be trimmed, and I'll show you how to stamp um, a stamp, um, at least the way you should be stamping. So, obviously, you take your stamp out. Now, I store mine differently until I get them into cases, and but I'm working on getting the, the new system. But if you notice, there is a sticker on the back. You don't want to touch that quite yet because there's a foam in the middle and then the rubber at the top. Now, if you listen, you can hear how sharp these scissors are. You want to have a very nice pair of sharp scissors. But you do want to trim and cut your uh, around the edges so you don't have excess. Now, it's not going to be perfect. I mean, if you could be perfect, then that's fantastic. So you want to go around the edging as close as you can without touching the raised portion of your stamp. Now, when I get done with cutting this, I am going to do a quick how-to on stamping um, because I know there were some of you that had just now started out and I wanted to go back over it again and revisit it because I know that sometimes I stick it into other videos. And this one is, again, this is Queen Bean. And these are just the super most cutest stamps ever. The person that's on my page that is selling is wishing to stay anonymous because she doesn't want people to think that she's going to favor anybody because she's not. And she's like me. She's true, fair, and honest. Um, most of you on the page know who she is, but um, there's a lot of people that are very participants, very big participants that you may not know. So this is very basic. Now, the one thing you could do with this is you can resave this if you want to and recycle the rubber if you have a small stamp. Um, I, I generally do that for bigger portions. Now, with this, um, I'll show you how I store it back in here later. Um, but I, the other day, was showing everybody the colors that I use on my Prisma colors. If you're on my page, you already know that. I'm going to use the bottom portion of this. And um, you peel off the back of this because you can't put it back on once it goes back on. Once you peel off the sticker portion, it's no good. So you can just toss that. Now, here's the stamp on my acrylic block. And what I do is I use stays on and I use jet black. Um, some people use the archival and this is technically an archival. But instead of what a lot of people make the mistake and they push their stamp down in it, I don't recommend it because then you'll get ink up in the center of the um, raised relief areas and the flat portions. So this is what most people that stamp will recommend to use. You actually take the block and don't do this, okay? Don't do that. You want to take the ink itself and you want to dab it. Because if you do it this way, it only gets the portions that needs to be stamped on or to have the ink. You don't want, and I go over it several times and I move it around for an even ink color. Um, and then I just go, and I'm going to cut off the bottom of this. I was going to get my cutting board and then I decided not to. And then you want to give an even push. And I rock it just slightly. You don't want to rock too much because it can do too much of it. But look how super cute she stamped. Now, I actually cut mine out when I'm done coloring. I don't cut them out beforehand. So when I get done, I'm going to be doing um, all of them. And I'm going to make them into cards. You guys are going to see this. 
Um, there is another person on the page that has this exclusive stamp set. Seven uh, college fund kids, seven kids college fund, and they had them, and they sold out in about 30 minutes. Uh, it was a very limited edition. If you can find them, grab them because they will sell out. Um, for all my CCC followers here on YouTube and on Facebook, if you aren't catching it on Facebook, the the codes are already on there. Um, she's offering to start now. She's just starting out, so the more people she can get to buy, the cheaper she can start giving discounts. Uh, but she is offering 5% discount to start with. Um, and if you need the code, um, I will put the link at the bottom and the codes, but it's CCC5 for 5% off. And then ship uh, free. is for any orders over $50 is free. Um, so that's exclusive to you guys. Now that I'm now putting it out the uh, YouTube, it's now there. So guys, that's a quick little lesson. And um, I wanted to share, I should go ahead and share what's at the top of this real quick. These are the colors that I use on my Prisma markers. If you can see that, that is Crimson Red for Lips. I also use, which is four. And 8 for lips, which is pink. I also use 10 for lips and, and cheeks. A lot of these are cheeks too, but you don't only use red cheeks. Uh, that's 10. I use 4, 8, 10, um, 11, 12, 65, 69, 70, uh, 88, 89, 90, 95, 130, 170, 133, 137, and 151. And I could go through the um, the, the, the actual words, uh, color words. But those are the markers that I use on my Prisma colors for skin tones. Um, and it, it was asked to me the other day is why I, I ended up doing this to show this. I do use five different Copics. Now, there's many more shades, but the ones that I tend to gravitate to... Um, is the Copics um, uh, E00, which is skin white, YR00, which is powder pink, E23, which is hazelnut, E15, which is dark tan, um, and then E31. Now, I don't have a name for it because it's a very wide marker, and I don't use it very often, but I use that for different ethnics. Um, but that's those are the ones that I do use. I did promise that I would show you how I store these back until it, you have it in a system. When I remove the stamp, of course you move it gently. I actually put it back into the wrapper now instead of being this way, the way they originally were. Um, if you want to store it this way, what I do is I make sure that it's way open underneath. Try to lay it back in there. Now you'll probably get ink down on that paper, but it's not a big deal. And then what I do is I close it back up and I flatten this back down so there's no bubbles. So that's a quick way to store. And this one is now stored and ready to be used over and over. And it is sealed. So that's a good way to store them too. It can get, uh, it can take up a lot of room. That's why I do CD cases. But I am working on for my nicer stamps to switch over to a nicer stamp um, system. So anyway, there you guys go on a quick lesson. I hope you enjoy. Um, a little quick update. I went to the doctor yesterday. They put me in a super sexy stocking, support stocking. It kind of reminds me of my jazz tights from when I was dancing. Um, yeah, super sexy old lady granny tights. I love it. And it, it does look that bad. Though my, sock, my shoes are great with it. But I am no longer in physical therapy for my ankle. No more intensive therapy. Um, I do go back in a month. And we will be scheduling surgery on my ankle. Um... So I will update you more on that later. But anyway, guys, I'm glad that you're here with me. And we are rocketing towards 900 here on YouTube. I do not bribe anybody, but I do have prizes and, and things on my page. Um, come on over, give it a week or two, and, um, you know, just check around and stick with it for at least two weeks. Because sometimes it's a little downer than up because some people get busy. But, um... I do have the next Nifty 50 winner that I will be announcing, uh, I, will, I will be drawing by, by the end of the week, and we are about halfway, well we're dropping a few here and there because we had a vote and people bringing people to vote, <laughs> but we are about 30 people away right now from the next Nifty 50, and I can tell you right now, it is a Xyron Creative Station 5 inch sticker maker is my next winner's prize. Um, so, I will see you on the flip side, guys. Love and hugs. Check out uh, the website down below and enjoy. And I will be making cards before I actually show some lessons on this today. So, stay tuned. Bye, guys.